Hey, Crossings, thanks for jumping on here for just a minute. Um, you're probably confused as to why this video has been created. Um, but as, as all of you, I'm sure know, uh, this week is especially a week where I think we can be coming alongside our city, alongside um, our parishes, alongside our country, um, as we pray for shalom and as we seek shalom, as we seek peace as part of the kingdom of God. Um, and what it means to uh, be an advocate, what it means to be a seeker of justice. Um, and that looks different for each of us. Um, I acknowledge that all of us are not going to have the same views and opinions. That's not what I want to get to um, in this time that we have. Instead, what I would like to do is uh, take some time to pray. And uh, we have brothers and sisters uh, in Christ in the Episcopal Church um, who have written these specific prayers for the election week, uh, for the election season. So I invite you to pray along with me, and I will make a PDF of this prayer along with three other prayers available um, for you to use if you would like that. Um, and if you would, um, that can be uh, given to you by just emailing me at brad at crossingsknoxville.com or simply by going to our Facebook page. Um, so now I'd like to invite you to pray with me um, as, as we seek shalom in our city and in our world. Lord, make us seekers of shalom. Rid our hearts of our love of the status quo our comfort and complacency, our preference for absence of conflict. Cultivate in us, God, a love for true shalom, wholeness, flourishing, a world made right. Make us seekers of shalom in ourselves and in our communities. Give us eyes to see the loves and loyalties, fears and desires, identities and insecurities that shape our lives. And reveal to us, God, the places that our hearts seek comfort, stability, or security. And show us the stories that we have learned to love. Train our hearts, Holy Spirit, to seek the kingdom of God above any of the little kingdoms that threaten to steal our affections. Give us such an overpowering love for you, God, that all of our other loves fall in place behind it. Soften our hearts for our community, for crossings, for the church. Help us build relationships with our neighbors so that we might know their needs and love them better. Show us the places we can create flourishing in the ways we vote and in the ways that we lead. And we confess, God, that we have failed to love our neighbor. We have ignored the vulnerable, maligned the marginalized and exploited the weak. We have prioritized our own needs above the well-being of others, and we have treated image bearers as means to an end, as tools for our advantage, and as pawns in a political game. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, God, and we have loved the things of your creation in the wrong way. In the face of fear, be our protector and provider. Give us a strong sense of ultimate security in you, God. Teach our hearts to desire your kingdom above any earthly security. Help us to look to you for provision, God. Teach our hands to open wide, holding the gifts of your creation loosely. In the face of scarcity and competition, God, Teach us to seek the good of others above our own. We know that all we have is really yours, God. And we ask that you show us how to serve our neighbor with the gifts you've given us. Break down our pride and self-sufficiency, God, and teach us to rely upon your body and our communities to meet each other's needs. Lord, make us seekers of shalom. Help us act and talk and live in this season out of love for the kingdom of God. And give us eyes to see the brokenness of our world, hearts that yearn for its restoration. 
and hands and feet willing to work for the glimpses of its coming redemption that you have commissioned us with creating. Lord, make us seekers of shalom. Amen.